what's up, what's up, YouTube? Well, it's come to my attention. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but I was reading yesterday that Stephen Cohn, Mets owner, used, and this was, and this was, this is, this was said by Scott Boris, Carlos Correa's agent, that Mets owner Steve Cohen used the same doctor that San Francisco used for Carlos Correa. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but let's just say hypothetically, if it is true, then Steve Cohen is not as bright as I thought he was because you would not use the same doctor that diagnosed Carlos Correa. You would use your own independent doctor so that your own independent doctor can give you his opinion, not what the other doctor said, because the other doctor, what, what the, the San Francisco doctor is going to tell you the same thing they told San Francisco's organization. Whatever it was, they're going to repeat it to you. So you, you, so you go to your own independent doctor, and you're, you're, you're rich enough that you can have several doctors give you several opinions, and you can, and you can decide from that and say, okay, fine, I can take this choice, I can take this choice. But you don't go back to the same doctor to give you the same diagnosis. That doesn't make any sense. So if, 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 if they chose to give him a lower AVV or whatever the case may be, lower years, um, lower money, because of that, then that was a wrong decision because you don't base yourself on somebody else's doctor. That's why you have your own crew. You have your own doctor. I think, I think they have Dr. Affleck. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I, Atkins. I think it's Atkins. The Mets have the orthopedic surgeon. Um, I don't know why he didn't take him to... Um, the 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 hospital for uh, for special surgery in Manhattan that's what they use HHS I don't know why they didn't take that I'm I'm just saying uh, this is this is the assumptions that that I have under what I read that that's what Scott Boris because I saw yesterday's announcement with Scott Boris and Carlos Carrera when they were with the Twins and if you see you know Scott Boris is trying to blame the medical field saying you know each doctor you know they they should have gone with what because what the doctor for the Twins Agree. Of course, the doctor for the twins is going to agree because that's his client, and he's going to do what about him, why he thinks is going to be best for the team. You know, each doctor is going to do that. That's their job. But to for you to 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 make a decision based on what another doctor that's not even your doctor said that's 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 not good choice. You know, so if you let go, if you let go of, of Carlos Correa because of what the San Francisco doctor said, then you made a poor choice. Because if you go by your own doctor, and your own doctor tells you, you know what, in a year or two, that metal plate's going to move, that metal plate's going to do this, and then another doctor tells you, you know what, I think in a few years it's going to be in place, or if a doc, or if another doctor tells you something similar to what your own doctor said, and then you go with that, but you don't go back and say, hey, San Francisco doctor, blah 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 blah, what was your diagnosis? Or he's not going to ask him that because of, uh, of the HIPAA law. But you don't go back to that doctor and say, give me your diagnosis and say, this is what I saw on the MRI. You know, and that's where, then you know, you don't do that. And Scott Boris just did that. When I saw that yesterday, Scott Boris, like, he made the, 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 the teams, both San Francisco and New York Mets, were making their decision based based on based on MRIs. That's the only way you can make a decision is based on MRIs because you can't open you can't open up the patient and see how his plate's doing. So you see the MRI and do the MRI as as an orthopedic doctor or a surgeon or whatever, you can assess, okay, making these certain movements, um, at these certain times, you're playing shortstop, you're always you know, for two hours a day, three hours a day, or more, you're gonna be this is this is gonna move. Things like that is going to happen. You just can't. I mean, to say that looking at an MRI is no good that doesn't make any sense. So you, yeah, Scott Boris is not not very smart um, in that aspect. Then I saw Correa speak, and it's funny how he says, you know, that he, you know, for his, he's looking out for his family, which I understand that. But he's going to the Twins organization because they know they have a good or they have a good organization, and this, this and that. It reminds me of it reminds me of what um, Jacob Degrom said. 
when they did the, when he did the interview with Texas, they said that Texas is rebuilding. Texas, you know, they won a championship, and they what the Mets don't want a championship. What the Mets are not doing the best they can to do a championship. Just you know, it would have been better off if the grown would have said, you know what, I just felt that um, Texas was a better place for my family. I you know I, I I thank the Mets organization for the time they gave me for the Mets fan, you know, but I felt that it was time to move on. And I wanted to go to another team. And that's understandable because, you know, baseball is baseball. This is a sport. And this is a business, too. You want to go where the money's at, whatever the case may be. But to say that that, that Texas is, 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 is building for a championship and the Mets are not, that's, that's, that's every team's goal is to do a championship, you know. And Texas right now got a good pitching staff, by the way. You know what I mean? And, and that, that have a good club, period. But it's just me. It's just, it's just it's idiotic. And then going back to the Steve Cohen, if that is true, what they said, that he said that, that the Mets owner, Steve Cohen, did that, you know, that does not make any sense at all. So that was, if it's true, that was just basically stupid. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.